In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an I chord. Like I did I chords for the spider legs. I did an I chord for top of this pumpkin. Okay, what you want to do is you want to take the color that you're going to use. And depending on how much you need, if you need to do a very long one, you don't have to worry about, you don't have to cut it. You can actually start it. I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do it. You can wrap your tail and you can start it, which all it is is a figure eight. I'll try it. So you, you're doing like a figure eight stitch like that. You push those ones down. Yep, two on the loop, on the loom. You take your bottom ones over the top, push those down. Take the bottom to the top, and push those down. Doing it this way, your end will be um, finished off pretty nicely. So this is just one way to do it and then that way once you get it as long as you want I'll show you in a moment how you take it off so all you do you just figure eight take the bottoms over the tops there are little I cord looms that you can get out there that help you do I cords faster but as you can see you got this end right here that you either have to tie in or weave and cut off because doing it this way both ends will have a string hanging on them so let's say we get it as long as we want you cut your string move that over and just pull that string which I don't have a crochet hook over here or do I nope I don't you just pull that end. It's easier to do with a crochet hook, but you pull it through the loops. And there. That's like a tiny, tiny, tiny I cord. Uh, there's another way you can do them where you don't have that in the finish off. The front end, you don't have to worry about finishing off. That's what I do for like my spiders and stuff. But you see it gives them kind of like this, looks like almost like a foot at the end of the legs. And so I like that. Which with that, what you do, you cut your yarn, fold it in half evenly. There we go. And we're going to start with this end. So we'll take that end and loop it. And then from there, we're going to run both strands together like one and you're going to do the same you're going to take those bottom ones over the top you just got to remember you got two this time instead of one and you take it off the loom the same way once it's as long as you want you can double it over again to where you're running four strands together if you want it thicker um, but that's all there is to it doing an I cord uh, I have in the video pattern for the spider and the pumpkin it will show you how to connect the I cords if you are putting them into a project but this is just how to do an I cord all right thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and again thank you